evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Hanrahan. And I'm Jane McCarthy. Uh, the term tiny homes, that's not an insult. It's a movement with entire TV shows based on downsizing now. Well, now the Spokane City Council is working to make it easier for developers to build them around town. Krem 2's Dana Marie McNichol takes a look at the changes to the building code and the city's effort to bring in more affordable housing. Tiny houses are popping up around the country as more and more people are downsizing. This affordable housing option is starting a new trend and caught Spokane's eye. A recently passed zoning law by the city of Spokane allows for cottage housing. This new law means that developers can build 14 houses on one acre of land, as long as they are smaller than 500 square feet each. The idea is to get more homes in one area. The city calls it infill development which means building on vacant land in areas that are already developed. Let's take a look inside an average floor plan of a 500 square foot house. Now, most of your spaces will be shared. Your living room doubles as your bedroom and you will be eating inside your kitchen. The objective is to achieve high quality housing in residential areas that provides more options and is well designed. The goal is to incentivize developers to build inside the city limits on vacant land focused in the Spokane Central Corridor, the blue areas on the map. The Spokane City Council says they hope cottages will be more affordable because of their size. Compared to what you will pay for 500 square feet in Seattle and Portland, Spokane is looking pretty good. 24 Cottages for Transitional Programs for Women was approved under old zoning laws, but the city expects to see similar projects like this because of the new law. Dana Marie McNichol, Crump 2 News.